Sour pickled mustard greens is one of those ingredients that every Yunnan family must have, and it can be used in making a lot of Yunnan dishes. Today, I'm gonna show you how you can make these at home, and they can be stored for a very long time. First of all, we need some large leafy mustard greens called Ku Cai in Yunnan, which translates to bitter vegetables. In the West, they are known as Gai Choi or Indian mustard greens. They are indeed very bitter. And by pickling them, we can get rid of a lot of the bitter flavor. To begin, we need to cut the tough stem off and peel off the big leaves. I have about three big heads here. And after we separate the leaves, put them in a colander and rinse them thoroughly. Next, use paper towels to pat dry the water on the leaves. Once we've done that, it's best to take them under the sun and give them a sunbathe. This is to further remove some of the water inside the vegetable so that when we're pickling them, they don't release too much water. It's okay to skip this if the weather or location doesn't allow it, but we need to deal with the water later on. After the sunbathe, as you can see, the leaves have become a bit wilted. Next, we need to chop the leaves into smaller pieces. There are other recipes from other regions of China that leave the leaves whole, but in Yunnan, they usually chop into smaller pieces so that it's easier to mix in with all that salt and spices. For the pickling spices, we have about 2 tablespoons of coarsely ground chilies, 30 grams of salt, which is about 3% of the weight of the mustard greens, 1 tablespoon of cooked white rice. The rice is traditionally used as the starch inside the rice can break down into sugar and kickstart the fermentation. You can substitute the rice with sugar, some ground Sichuan peppercorn and 5 spice powder, and lastly, some sliced ginger. I also have some strong Chinese liquor, you can use vodka instead. Mix the spice with the vegetable and knead the mixture for about 3 minutes. And you'll notice some of the moisture released from the vegetable. For the pickling container, you may use a traditional pickling jar, a mason jar, or a plastic food safe container. Sterilize the container by rinsing it with boiling water and drying it. Put a mustard green mixture into the jar along with all the juices, and add a capful of the liquor. You want to top the mixture with a pickling weight, or like me, a plate or bowl with a stone on top will do. Lastly, because my container lid is not airtight, I seal it with a cling wrap and a rubber band. Leave the pickles to ferment in a cool place away from sunlight. About a week later, you can start tasting them. The liquid will be a darkish brown color. I like mine to ferment a bit longer. So this is a month later, and it's ready to eat. It has a nice sour fermented flavor. You can discard the pickling liquid and store it in an airtight jar for up to one year. You can eat it straight, like a sauerkraut along with some meat and rice. Of course, there are a lot of dishes that you can use it in. One recipe I introduced before, Grandma's mashed potato, called for this ingredient. I'll definitely introduce more recipes using this in the future. Hope you liked today's video and I'll see you next time on What's Show Cooking.